Hello, my name is Simona Surdu and I'm a co-deputy director for the Oral Health Workforce Research Center based at the Center for Health Workforce Studies at the University at Albany's School of Public Health. According to the most recent data from 2015 to 2016, about 46% of children had caries and 13% had untreated caries. Children from underrepresented minority groups and low-income families have the highest prevalence of oral health concerns, creating striking oral health disparities. In addition to socioeconomic determinants of health, there is growing interest in understanding whether parental oral health literacy is affecting children's oral health. Our poster expands on previous research and describes study findings from a national representative survey of consumers that collected information about parents' oral health knowledge, perspectives regarding the oral health care needs of their children, utilization of needed oral health services, and children's oral health status. Study findings indicated that levels of parental oral health literacy was relatively low. None of the 10 oral health knowledge statements was correctly identified as true or false by more than 70% of parents. The current study found statistically significant associations between lower parental oral health literacy and children's poorer oral health outcomes such as not getting the needed oral health care, experience of oral health symptoms, presence of dental cavities, and fair or poor oral health status. In conclusion, our study suggests the importance of continued efforts to increase the oral health literacy through the education of parents, including during dental and medical visits, to improve regular dental visits and oral health outcomes for children. Thank you.